What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we are doing part 10 of our run through on Legendary. So this is the mission, the Foundry, the 10th mission out of 12 uh, in the original campaign that shipped with Halo Wars 2. So to start off this mission you're under attack, some Archer missiles uh, come and help you out. And then uh, a bunch of units are dropped off in Pelicans and uh, you could use those as you see fit. So how we see fit is we're just going to use our two Spartans, uh, Alice and Douglas, to move up and take out all these enemies on their own. So the reason I'm doing that is because I have the Pestilent Skull on, and what that does is it uh, makes any units that are spawned or built, uh, they lose health slowly until they're around 10%, um, and then they they just hover at like 10% until they start actually taking uh, actual damage. So I'm going to use my Spartan Shield uh, for uh, taking all the damage, and then once the shielding on their, uh, their armor suits is... Uh, depleted almost entirely I'll back up and uh, have it just recharge because the shields recharge it's great so it's kind of a little uh, workaround for having no health uh, you do have shield still so use that to your advantage so move up take out all the enemy units when you're uh, low on shielding just back up and wait for it to recharge and then just keep moving forward once it recharges and then uh, at this point I've moved up all of my units since all of the uh, enemy units are destroyed in this area just so they could help out taking that mini base out um, and then I'm going to move up my two Spartans up there. Uh, those enemies actually spawn to existence right when you kind of get into that area, so they're not uh, unhealthy yet. They have full health. So I'm just going to run my Spartans down the side here and collect some ammo, or not ammo, but supplies and, uh, what is it, power, uh, while I wait for the health of those enemies to uh, deplete. So run down here, uh, blow up these supply silos, and then we'll head back up. So grab all those uh, crates there, supply crates, and we'll go back up here and take out those units. These guys are just chilling. They're making an easy buck. They get that, that nice fat paycheck from the UNSC for just sitting around doing nothing. But here we go. We are working our way back up to the area where we need to take out these guys. And you can see there's some infantry. And we're really just going to run straight at this blister back. Uh, once you close in on the blister back, they obviously can't shoot you anymore until they, uh, they take off from the ground. So that's what we're going to do here. And now we are going to recharge our shielding because it is almost gone, or it might be entirely gone. Um, and upgrade your leader powers as you get leader points. Uh, I like to use the turret, upgrade the turret, and then upgrade uh, the missile pods as well, the archer missiles. And uh, now we're going to move up. Our shields are back. And we get a little in-game type cutscene, which is annoying because the hunters, you can see, were starting to shoot me before this even started. So now I have, like, no health or no shield, which is great. So I have to go back and wait for that to recharge. Um, I decided to move my Spartan forward that had shielding, um, which is probably a bad idea. It's easier, or it's better, more efficient if you have two Spartans shooting at people instead of just the one. So now I'm going to retreat uh, and wait for this guy to recharge. I'm just going to wait for both of them to be fully healthy before I move forward again. And I'm being attacked now, so I'm going to move them even further back. So, uh, while we do this, I'll just, I'm just going to heal them uh, in a second, though. Once their shields get back, I'll start healing them. But anyway, um, I think we should talk about the skulls that are on. Uh, we talked about Pestilence, but there's seven additional ones. There are uh, the skulls called Pain Train, Bountiful Harvest, Emperor, Total Annihilation, uh, Fire Starter, Things That Go Boom, and Sugar Cookies. So those are ones that just, uh, in general, make the game a lot easier. They do things like increase the amount of supplies you get per second, the amount of... Uh, leader powers uh, that you get per game because the leader power uh, cooldown time is decreased so they recharge a lot faster um, your units have more health and they just things like that that make the game a lot easier in general um, so we won't go into every little one um, but let's just move forward again we're kind of using our strategy of moving forward moving back when we need to recharge our shield and uh, this guy has a shield as well um, Val Saham the honor guard so you can see that he blew up right there as well. So that happens when uh, a leader is killed. So that honor guard is a leader unit, so he blows up upon his death, and that would happen for our Spartans as well. So that's something you could use to your advantage uh, sometimes. You could like kind of, kind of kamikaze a Spartan into a group of enemies. But we're not going to do that here, but it's something you might want to do at some point. So now Douglas is jumping on the Scarab. Um, and you can tell by his jerky movements, and probably the ones previously that you've been witnessing, that this video is sped up to two times speed, and you would be correct. So we're going to move this Spartan up by himself. 
Um, he has full health right now, but he's going to quickly become very weak. So we're not really going to use the Spartan, or the Spartan, the Scarab for anything except for this uh, initial part when you first get him. We're just going to kind of hide the Scarab eventually and uh, just park him and not move him ever again until this mission is over. So we are going to kind of use the same strategy. Uh, if you find you have way too little health, um, you want to move away. You want to take out the Hunters first because the Hunters are anti-vehicle units. So the Hunters will go through your health a lot faster than the, uh, the other units like the, the Elites with Carbines or just the generic Grunts and uh, Brutes infantry. Um, so just take out those Hunters. Make sure uh, you prioritize those. Prioritize. That's a word. I uh, may have said it a little strangely, but you know. So now I'm going to retreat all the way back up here because I have spawned in these... Uh, this new area of units and apparently they just spawned in right when we broke through that uh, barricade there because they have full health so we're going to backtrack here and wait for uh, the health to just drop from the pestilent skull and we hit up here I feel like that's good enough and we're going to make our way back and you want to make sure you have all your units in front of the scarab um, because obviously if the units die if the unit if the non scarab units die we don't care um, but if the Scarab dies, you actually lose the mission. So you need to make sure the Scarab is protected at all times. Um, so we're going to put the uh, the Grunts, uh, so to speak, in front of the ones that we don't care if they die. And you want to make sure you take out these turrets on the base first. Um, because those have a lot of health. They're not affected by the Pestilent Skull. And you can see when I moved the Scarab in here, I put a uh, Restoration Drone around him so he could continue to stay alive basically that's the uh, gist of it so uh, move your units forward you're probably uh, pretty decimated at this point and uh, there we go now we only have a scarab and a spartan so I'm gonna start uh, Alice over here start taking that power node so we get some more uh, power in because we're gonna use that power to upgrade our uh, units so the scarab took out the base we're eventually gonna build on it in a hot second and there it goes. So we're just going to hang here. This is a fairly safe place for the Scarab. Um, there are going to be Banshees that come in. You can see they're shooting at my uh, base that's being built right now, which is totally fine. Uh, they're not going to get close to blowing it up or anything. So I'm just going to let them kind of hang there for a little bit. Now I could have Alice move over since she's done taking out, uh, or taking out, she's done taking over that power node. So I'm going to build three generators on the back of my base there to start, and then two supply pads. And I'm going to start building turrets as well here to start this base off right. And then uh, I'm just going to use Alice to move around and grab uh, all the supplies and power. If I could go back to this uh, mini base. That mini base where we started at, you don't have any control over it at first. But once you get the scarab, or once you get to this area maybe, you get control of it. Um, so I'm going to destroy the, what is it, the barracks on it. And I built a, uh, what did I build? Did I build a supply pad? I think there's just two supply pads back there. And then on my main base, I'm going to build a field armory and an air pad. Yeah, so I just have uh, two supply pads on there, and make sure you upgrade those to heavy supply pads. Um, and also do that on your main base as well. Any uh, generator you have, make sure you upgrade it to uh, whatever it's called. An upgraded generator, super generator, whatever. Just upgrade it, and then uh, upgrade your supply pads to, of course, build some turrets. Because those turrets are going to be what protect your base and the scarab. And, uh, and yeah, so then I directed my uh, Scarab to start breaking down these barriers. You don't really need to break down the barriers uh, behind the base, but you do need to break down the one to the left here where the Spartan is right now. But I just give him something to do, you know, in the meantime while he's sitting around. Just to keep him from going stir crazy. But uh, we're going to upgrade our base here to uh, tech level 3. We are going to start... What we're going to do, our ultimate goal, is to build a fleet of vultures. So we need to get the uh, tech level 3 for that. And uh, we would want to upgrade our tech level anyway, uh, even without wanting that, just so we have higher tech level. It's better. And we're going to upgrade everything in the field armory, obviously. Why not? It's all beneficial. So in the meantime, while we're upgrading all our tech and creating all these vultures, we are going to bring Alice over here. She's going to take out these uh, couple infantry units. And then we're going to move her over here and take this other power node. 
and then we're going to, uh, I like to put my vultures right there, kind of to the diagonal left of my base, because uh, that's where a lot of banshees like to hang out, uh, just outside the range of your turrets, so by being there, we'll be able to take out those banshees if they ever uh, come into play. And you want to make sure you keep your uh, scarab behind the base at all times. He's pretty protected there. He has got the protection of the turrets surrounding your base, so that is a very useful spot. Just keep him there. Make sure you don't accidentally select all units when uh, we get further into this mission and then have him move forward and die. That would be annoying. Uh, and then with this uh, Alice, this Alice gal, we're going to move her forward and then have her retreat again. Um, so she blew up all those units, but there's still a turret on the mini base to the left. So we're going to wait for our shield to recharge, and then we're going to uh, go over there and take out that turret as well. In the meantime, I'm going to continue upgrading uh, my base, just basically upgrade everything in the field armory, and also upgrade your... Or we haven't upgraded our vultures yet, but we're going to upgrade our aircraft in a little bit. I like to wait until the uh, my leader powers have uh, allowed me to discount the upgrades so that's the second most left option um, unfortunately my Spartan has died here and now she's swimming around because uh, we don't know where to put her corpse apparently I've never seen that in the video game here but uh, we're gonna send our vultures over to rescue her no big deal she uh, respawns she's like a Pokemon I mean they just faint and fall over and then eventually they're like all right come on get back up stop being dramatic um, so we send our vultures over. Once that little uh, loading wheel is full, that means she's available to be picked up. So you got to move at least one of your units near her to uh, revive her, basically. So I put her in one of the vultures, actually. So we should end up with 11 vultures, and uh, we want to upgrade them, uh, their air pad, or their air, whatever. We're upgrading the, uh, the air pad, so it creates... Uh, a much more powerful vulture. They get a 10% boost and then a 20% boost and then a 30% boost um, when you make those upgrades. So what I'm going to do here on this mini base is create a supply pad and then another air pad because I'm actually going to use this uh, new air pad uh, as my main air pad in a little bit. So once this is done upgrading um, to tier level 2 or whatever it is, uh, I'm going to destroy it and then just make another air pad. We are now going to use this mini base air pad as our main one. And then uh, this field armory is almost done. It's almost useless. So once you uh, upgrade everything in the field armory, you could just blow it up and create another supply pad. Because uh, supplies coming in is better than a just a building sitting there doing nothing. Um, eventually, you probably want to slap a restoration drone on your, uh, your scarab just so it heals up to uh, the max it could be, which is three bars out of however many it has. I don't even know how many. It's got a bunch of bars of health, but, you know, they're all empty. Except for the three at the bottom. You'll have three red bars, so might as well uh, make sure it's as healthy as possible. So once we have our fleet, you can see we have 11 vultures here. One with a Spartan in it. We'll blow up this barricade. You want to make sure that barricade stays in place until this point, because otherwise you'll be battling a bunch of uh, units as they come at your mini base over there, so... Just keep all those barricades intact, um, that one and also the one in front of your main base. So you can see here that uh, we're just going to move up the left side. So there's a big uh, base uh, of this uh, of this banished group. I'm going to just heal these guys up. I probably should have waited a little bit longer for uh, me to drop that restoration drone, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, there's a big base we're skipping. Um, you can see in the fog of war, um, there's a large section... Um, that is just going to be not ever uncovered and that has a big banish base there and another mini base So we're going to avoid that fight altogether We're just going to send our vultures up the left side of the map here And we are going to go kind of park ourselves behind the final enemy base here So now I have uh, called in a couple more vultures because I lost a couple on my way to this point so I used that mini base air pad to call in a couple more and now we have 11 again we are going to park ourselves behind the base here, and you could slap a rally point behind the base here too, so any additional vultures you call in will go straight to behind the base. Um, so that's why I put my new air pad at that mini base, because it makes your, uh, your vulture go right up the side instead of kind of going right over the middle, which would allow your uh, vultures to be destroyed before they even got to your uh, position here. So you could use your Y ability, um, your Phoenix missiles, um, to totally destroy that banished base really quickly 
Um, you want to take out the uh, the turrets first on that uh, base, but then you want to use your Y ability to target the main base, and it makes quick work of it. Um, so that's the final objective, um, is to destroy that base, which we kind of did uh, as not the final objective. So we have to still clear out or repel the banished attack, basically. So there's still uh, this one objective to do, which means we have to clear out the area, um, that big circle up there. You can see the blister backs were starting to uh, settle down in that area. So this area right here has to be totally clear of Covenant, or banished, excuse me. They are not Covenant. They are pretty anti-Covenant. Um, but use your turret. Um, you have this drop turret, so you can see I have that in the middle of the map. Um, and you can see I got totally decimated, like I have no units left. But that's totally okay. Um, for some reason, whatever reason, um, that area stays uh, lit up. So the fog of war does not affect this area once you get into it. So that's nice. So you could keep dropping uh, leader powers like archer missiles and uh, turrets. And basically, you probably just use uh, leader powers at this point to take out those remaining uh, units in this area. But we'll just send some more vultures over here anyway. So you can see Alice just taking a nap again. Great, Alice. That's really contributing. Um, so yeah, it'll be. It's pretty easy at this point. Um, you only have to clear out like eight blister backs. Uh, they come in four at a time, along with a bunch of banshees. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty quick and easy way to uh, finish this uh, mission off here. So that is all, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch and Mixer at Silver Scorpion Four. And check out my podcast called Halo Conversationalist. And I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.